What is going on guys, it's your brother Farmer here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing over the series that I've been posting here. Uh, probably been three weeks now. Finally going to get in and describe what's going on and what the series is going to be. So right now we are at the main farm. We do have our bin set up over here for corn. And then we do have three fields here. Uh, if we look on our map. It's going to be 113 and 112, and then the field in the back here is ours. And I do apologize for the little bit of graphical glitch going on. I'm still messing with my shaders. So. Uh, we do have chickens and cows on this map. Um, chickens don't take a whole lot, so. We do have a grain bin here for soybeans when it comes to the time. We have a little pepper dog. Maybe. There we go. I can open this one. In here, we've got our grain truck. It's an international S1900 series. Got our chicken food. Our fuel trailer slash repair trailer. Close that back up. Come over here to this side. In here, we have our combine. A good old John Deere 4020. New Holland Chopper. It's a 400 uh, rotor cultivator. And a, or sorry, that's a rotary hoe and this is a rotor cultivator. Then we have our seed drill for wheat, grass, for our hay. And then here in the big shed, I'm actually going to go over to this side. So the rest of our equipment. We've got an old John Deere 720. Used to be on the farm. John Deere 7800 with the Kinsey 3008 row with dry fertilizer. Have a nine, I believe nine shank. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shank. Got eleven shank chisel plow, Glencoe. Uh, international disc. It's a 490, I believe 22 foot. The John Deere 980 cultivator, the 84 or 8200, excuse me, John Deere coon tether for hay, a John Deere 466 baler. Then we'll come over here, and here we've got our grain head for the combine on an easy trail header cart. Around the side here, we have a gooseneck flatbed trailer is a tilt deck so we're going to load certain things up go ahead and come over here and we'll hop into the truck and we'll go to the other farm so we do have two pickups this is a GMC the other one is a Dodge Cummins So our other farm is quite a ways away from our main farm here. Which many farms in my area, they drive upwards to 12 miles to go to different farms. Um, I don't know how long this series will be. We might, I might just continue it. Um, once Farming Simulator 22 releases here in the next couple weeks, the series might be done. I haven't posted in a while because Real Harvest has started for us. It's been a busy week. The weather's been good and we've been able to stay in the field. This map is... Uh, Midwest Horizons with Seasons Edit and a couple changes by me just to make things more playable in my mind. I am running a Season GEO from, I believe it's Virginia, that was released with a map. I don't remember what map. But it is a GEO that for my home area which is what this map feels like to me. The GEO matches very well. We'll take a look at that here in a little, 
in a little bit. Come up to our stop sign. So in real time, to drive a tractor to our second farm takes about 10 minutes in game. Or 10 minutes of real life to drive to the other farm. And our other farm is going to be our cattle farm. That's where our cattle is. We have a total of 15 cows on the farm. We could grow that into more. Um, I just feel like 15 is a good number to start out with. And like I said, I do apologize for a little graphical glitch. I'm still working on the shaders. Right. This is the second farm coming up here on the left. Couldn't get out. So, starting in the fence there on the right, those are our fields. Corn planted in there. And then, of course, you've probably seen the video of the grass field. There's our cattle. This is our other farm. We've got silos for feed for the cows. We've got a concrete bunker there for silage. Another bin for soybeans. A couple silage trailers, bale trailer, a hay vine. Turn the lights on for whatever reason. This is just pallet storage. We've got a little bit of fertilizer left and a bucket for our skid steer. We have a, it's a little close to the wall, a windrower coon, I believe. Coon windrower. This is our Wilson Ranch Hand trailer to haul our cattle. A water trailer. Water faucet. And here's our feeding. We have a John Deere 6410 with the Coon Knight 142. And then here's the toys. We've got a Bobcat 863 skid steer with a bale fork for the bales. And then we have a John Deere Gator. So we can go around and check the fence and make sure everything is um, like not falling apart where our cattle can get out. And then back here is our cattle. I do believe, maybe we only have five. I thought we had 15, I honestly don't remember. Um, water, to feed. We have some silage in there. I bought a bale, just so we had a little food for them. Um, so this farm over here consists of 29, 28, 25, 26, and 27. We are doing a 50-50 rotation between corn and soybeans, especially 29 and 28. These two fields will be rotating 50-50 every time. Because right now, so 29 is in corn, which will be cut in silage, and then next year, it will be 28 for cut in silage. So all crops are planted. We'll go ahead and turn this on. So all crops are planted. And then I do forget, you can see these patches over here. This is for um, hay bale storage. There's three spots there. I don't remember how many bales they can hold each. But. So yeah, these two fields here. There's our concrete bunker silo for silage. And you can just see off in the distance the other farm soybeans and then on this so we do own this field right here which is, we planted in soybeans and there's this little path that goes to the back to this field but that field is part of the other farm for whatever reason so we do not own that I'm thinking about buying it this property over here it consists of a lot of ground because you got that little field that's not marked 43, 44, 45, and 46. Granted, 46 is not part of it, but um, because you have to drive through the property to get there, I might as well just get that one as well. But that's a pretty big field for the size of the equipment we have. If I do buy this property, I will probably put in another shed and a another uh, grain bin for soybeans and other storage. So we'll go ahead and look at that. So 
That's not what I wanted. Where is it? That's not what I wanted. So soybeans, I believe. So the one at the main farm is going to be a 4,000 bushel bin. I believe the one here is a 10,000 bushel bin. Come in here and look. So we got 21 foot and a 30 foot, but almost 600,000 um, liters of storage for soybeans. And then the main facility holds 2,940,000 2, liters for corn. And we have plenty of storage for silage. Um, my plan is if we use the bunker silo, silo to ferment the corn chaff, and then if we come to the um, part where we have enough chaff, or to put it in the silos to store it, and then we'll chop more corn and create more silage. It's, that was my plan anyways. But everything is growing, and as you've seen at the home farm, or just fast travel, we do have some weeds coming, so they'll probably be next episode. We'll look at the weeds. Get those out. But, so this is Farm on Midwest Horizons. Hope you guys will enjoy this series. And we will hopefully just continue it until Farming Simulator 22 comes out. But if you guys want more videos, I will continue the series. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.